Hello smart users, Kyle here again. And in this video I thought we would look at how to use tables in your smart notebook files. Tables are a great way to organize data, classify objects, or hide information. First I'll show you how you can create a table in smart notebook collaborative learning software, then how you can modify that table, and then finally I'll show you some ways that you can use that table. On the smart notebook toolbar, there's a button with an icon that looks like a table. When you press the button, you can select how many rows and columns you need in your table. Just press and drag to select the number of rows and columns you want, and then release. Your table appears on the Smart Notebook page. Once the table is on your page, you can make it bigger or smaller by pressing and dragging the gray circle in the bottom right corner. To move the table around on the page, you can press and drag the gray box in the top left corner. You can also change the size of each cell in the table by pressing and dragging the cell lines. Once your table is the right size and shape, you can modify it in other ways. Select the whole table or a single cell in the table, then open the Properties tab to modify the line style and color, the background color, or the text style and color. Now that the table is the way that you want it to look, let's add some content. You can double press a cell to open the text editor and type text. You can also simply drag text or images into the cells. If you drag a second item into a cell, it will overwrite whatever was in the cell before. So, if you want to add text and an image to the same cell, make sure you group them before you drag them in. Once all of your content is in your table, you're almost ready to present it. But there are a couple of other tricks you can do with your table. If you select the whole table and then press the drop down arrow on the top right corner, you can select Add Table Shade. This covers all the cells in your table with a shade that can be removed by pressing each of the cells. This is great for word or math problems where you want to hide some or all of the information until you're ready to reveal it. Now that you've created your table, I thought I would show you a couple of ways that I've used the table tool to create engaging lessons. You can create lesson activities where students have to classify things by dropping words or images into the table. You can create crossword puzzles that students complete by writing in each cell. Or you can create math problems, class surveys, graphs, or even a calendar of events. So that's it for this week. If you haven't seen my last two videos, they're here. Also in the bottom bar, I left a link to the notebook file that I used to create this uh, video, as well the Facebook and Twitter accounts, as well as the Smart Training and Professional Development page. So be sure to check those out. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button above. As well, leave any comments or questions below or on Facebook or Twitter. Class dismissed.